So today we're going to do a braised leg of pork and for these the ingredients are very simple. Uh, I've kept it to just a few. The main ingredients really are a leg of pork, you can get it from any butcher shop, 100 grams of French beans and 100 grams of whole potatoes. There's also onions, a pod of garlic, salt, pepper, softened butter, whole cream, olive oil and nutmeg. Great, so it's now time to wash those vegetables. Take both your potatoes and under cold running water, give them a good scrub. Just make sure you don't scrub them too hard, uh, but just scrub them hard enough so that uh, you can get rid of all the grime. Don't forget, potatoes do grow under the ground and often you find them with a lot of mud on it. So it's best you give them a good wash. We'll be peeling these anyway, but I recommend you always wash all your veggies. And now the beans, pick your French beans and again under cold running water. It's best if the water is very cold, uh, you don't want to get the beans cooking already. Be gentle, the beans snap sometimes, you want them whole and you'll see why. Now take a clean saucepan and pour in close to one and a half liters of water. Uh, the water has to be cold. Potatoes are always cooked in cold water. You never use boiling water. Add in salt. I've put in close to one and a half teaspoon of salt, but it's best to use your judgment depending on the amount of water you're using. Add in your potatoes. Uh, your stove should be on high at this moment. A quick tip, always and always boil potatoes covered. So now that our potatoes are happily boiling away, uh, take your beans and uh, string them. If you don't string your beans, when your beans are cooked, uh, let's say you're going to get the string in your mouth and that's not a very desirable taste. So how you do that is with a paring knife, you just nick the edge off and you run your knife along the length of the bean. With time you'll, you'll figure this is a very simple process and um, most moms really uh, do a great job at this. A quick look to see if your potatoes are doing fine. Yep, that's boiling away. Now get back and finish your remaining beans. When serving beans as an accompaniment to steak, I like to keep my beans long. So take a chef's knife and cut your beans lengthwise. A chef's knife is any knife which has a blade which is six inches or more. If you remember when we were washing those beans, I told you to be careful, Well, here's the reason why. I like to keep my beans long. And we're nearly done. It takes time, but it is satisfying. A lot of the mise en place can actually be done while the potatoes keep boiling. So take two onions and uh, the whole pot of garlic. Uh, cut your onions into uh, cubes and uh, we can just slice the end of the garlic. We will be using this uh, when we braise our steak. I will show you how to uh, treat these two ingredients later, but onions and garlic, these are a must for any kind of uh, roast or any dish that's being braised. They add that punch and that amazing flavor to the dish. So it's time to see if the potatoes are done. Uh, take a knife and uh, just pierce the potatoes. If the knife goes through easily, it means your potatoes are done. So just take them and uh, allow them to rest in a bowl separately. Uh, you, you'll need this before you actually peel your potatoes. Now that our potatoes are resting, it's time to marinate the steak. Uh, so take a little olive oil and drizzle it uh, on the steak. Olive oil acts like a fantastic agent that kind of holds all the seasoning together. But give it a good rub, turn it around, pat it and play with it a bit. Now drizzle your salt 
not too much salt is not the best for health but you gotta put salt anyway for the taste right so don't overdo it uh, crack some pepper and do exactly the same thing on uh, the other side of the steak as well give it a nice rub in the bowl to make sure the seasoning is caught on evenly now let's quickly peel those potatoes there's no rocket science really the potatoes are hot make sure you have a towel place the potatoes on top of the towel before you do any kind of peeling now that the potatoes are peeled uh, while they're still hot it's best if you mash them right now so take a fork and just go roughly into it it is really really satisfying a lot of people will tell you this needs to be done through a sieve and stuff like that i like my potatoes mashed but chunky add salt to the mashed potatoes uh, crack some pepper in that uh, the most important ingredient in mashed potatoes is nutmeg so grate some nutmeg into your mashed potatoes don't overdo it add a blob of butter chuck the entire thing into a pan and bring it up to a medium heat pour in the cream and cook this mixture well so keep cooking your potatoes and when they're done you'll realize it forms a mass and it'll resemble an omelet and finally it is time to cook that steak so pour in some olive oil crank up the heat and when the oil is smoking chuck in your steak uh, check it once in a while turn it around flip it over uh, and cover it while it cooks when the steak is cooking take your onions and place them into the braising dish so when your steak is nicely seared pick it up and put it on top of the onions we're going to be cooking two more steaks uh, because we plan to have this for lunch Yeah, so don't forget about the garlic. Uh, when the steak is cooking, take the garlic that you've cut, cut side down, place it until it turns a nice golden brown. This is gonna add that punch to the sauce and you'll have that wonderful nutty garlic flavor. Now, while all this is happening, uh, don't forget to preheat your oven to 160 degrees. Make sure your steaks are well seared before you put them into the braising pan. Uh, I'm going to actually let this uh, braise in its own juices. You know, you could add uh, wine at this stage or even some herbs. So cover it with aluminum foil and chuck it into the oven. So cooking French beans is one of the easiest things you can do. I know a lot of people get paranoid, uh, you know, wondering that the beans are going to discolor. All you're going to need is four things, a pot of boiling water, some salt, a pot of ice chilled water and the beans itself. Your beans are going to take about two and a half to three minutes to cook so when they're done take them out and shock them in an iced bath this will uh, arrest the cooking and it will make sure your beans are nice and crisp take a clean pan pour in some olive oil crank up the heat Put your beans in, season with salt and uh, pepper. Give them a nice toss and uh, keep them separate. We will use this when we are plating the dish. In about 45 to 50 minutes, your steak should be ready. Take this out and set it aside. Now, if you remember, uh, we had also put in the garlic there, right? So, so pick up the garlic pods and run this through a sieve. Uh, press nicely and make sure everything goes through. You can do the same thing for all the juices that are left in the baking dish. That is gonna form the base of your sauce. Don't push too hard, just give it a light stir and um, we move to the next step. Reduce the sauce rapidly and uh, when you're satisfied, chuck in your softened butter. 
emulsify this on low heat until you see that sheen it'll have that beautiful glossy look to it uh, taste your sauce once more and season if required set this aside and we will move to plating And that's how you cook a leg of pork steak. Try this at home. I hope you like what you've seen. Let me know your thoughts.